So, is 3D printing better than injection molding? We're going to talk about it a little bit today. So, uh, 3D printing uh, and injection molding, it really depends on the process that you're working with because the context of your project matters. But here today we're going to talk about enclosed bodies. Uh, 3D printing is exceptionally good at making an enclosed body, a solid cube. Whereas injection molding physically cannot do something like this. A solid cube like this, that's about two inches to a side, cannot be made with injection molding because the material would shrink. You'd have to fill up a solid cube with plastic and once it starts to cool, it would shrink and you'd have deformation here. And in fact, this sample brick right here, this injection molding brick, has a demonstration of that occurring right there to where you can see where the shrinkage is happening because this is a solid body. If you go any larger than that, the shrinkage is going to be worse. So yes, 3D printing can make fully enclosed um, bodies that are appear to be solid all the way through, even though they're technically not. This one is filled in with infill. But if you want to do something even remotely close to this with injection molding, you have to take this cube and redesign it to be a giant flat and lay it out flat and then you shoot that. And that's not very handy or not very useful when you can have a solid brick right here. Now, if you wanted to get a similar kind of form factor as this without going flat, something you can do with injection molding is put a cavity on the back side of it, but that doesn't really gain you anything because again, fully solid cube, six sides, all of them covered. In that way, 3D printing is better because you get to make a fully enclosed body that won't be a dirt catcher, and again, doesn't increase the complexity of the part that you're designing because now you have to have a mold that shoots this and whatever other kind of deformations you may have. But also with this solid body, one thing to be focused on is the texture on the outside. We're gonna talk about that in the next video.